is shallow. Hooey. This is shallow. This is ultra shallow. Like, look at this. They're just rolling all through right here. No intro needed for what we're doing today. We're going deep. We're throwing frogs. My bro, my, oh my gosh, my drag wasn't set. My drag wasn't set. My drag wasn't set. Oh my, they're active. They're active. Got him. There we go. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh yes, first fish of the day. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, get out of that grass. Get out of that grass. Come on, big girl. Here we go. That's how I like to start the day off. Yes. Love it. That's when you know they want that frog. Let's get some more. Look at them. They're freaking busting everywhere. Oh my gosh. That was deep in the throat. Oh my God. What a tank. What a tank to start the day off. Yes, yes. I know you guys like me to weigh these fish, so I'm going to, I'm gonna say this one's over six, seven, two, seven, five, seven, two. First fish of the day, over seven pounder. Oh, I love it. I love it a lot, let's get at it some more. All right, dude, thank you so much. This water's so warm, I know it is. There you go, you're back in the water, dude. Let me grab your tail. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I haven't stuck the I haven't even stuck the trolling motor down because I don't want them to know we're here. Oh, I'm pumped. First fish. Seven two. Alright. Oh man. Oh my god, they're in these bats. They're in these bats. They're gonna munch. They're gonna munch! I'm telling you they're gonna munch. They are going to munch. I'm so hyped. So hyped. Whew. Come on, I gotta make sure my drag is set it is. I'm just, I'm so pumped. Oh, come on, I see you waking. I see you waking, I got you. I saw you waking, I let you take it. Come on, come on. This is why we throw the frog in the summertime, come on. Get up here. Another quality fish. There we go. Look at that. That's easily three. So we're at 10 pounds in first two fish. All right, come on. Let's go get some more. Guys, I am so jacked right now. I'm like shaking. I got up at three this morning, made a two and a half hour drive to the lake that stumped me the other day. I knew I could come back in here if I just put my head to it. Last night I was thinking, what are they gonna munch on? Oh God, I'm so pumped. Oh, there we go. Right on the edge of that bat. Come on, nearly as big as the last ones, but I love it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, guys. The stuff I'm using today. Ooh, just made my own frog pee on me. Little one. Stuff I'm using today, my seven foot three, my Lunkers TV edition, extra heavy rod and 55 pound braid. And of course, a good popping frog. I'll link the frog down below for you guys. It'll be at the top and then I'll put my rods. If you guys are interested in a frog and rod, this is literally the one I created for this kind of stuff. And it's working. God, they're right over here. I'm, I'm like, whew. ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm loving this. We got a short window here, I think. Like a short window of opportunity to catch them on a frog. Let's see if we can make the most of it. We haven't even moved yet. I haven't even put the trolling motor I haven't even turned the trolling motor on yet. 
showing themselves. Look at them all over there. Oh, one just wait. One just wait. Come on. Yep, got him. Come on, get out of the grass. Even the small ones feel giant in this grass. That's why you guys got to make sure you have the right gear when fishing this thick of stuff. Watch how big this fish is and look at the fight he's putting up. There we go. Look at that. That's why you need the right gear. Woo! Head shake, head shake, head shake. That little fish. Woo. I'll take him. God, it's been a great morning. Whoop. Sorry, little dude. Let's get all this up the deck. Talk about some lettuce. All right, they're in here. They're on this side. They like this deeper stuff. Whoop. Even with a little, even with the sun coming up, we might be able to catch them today if there's a, if there's a little bit of chop. I'm kind of worried about no cloud. There's no, not gonna be any clouds today whatsoever. So it's either gonna be punching or if there's enough wind, I might be able to get away with throwing a swim bait. But we shall see. Hopefully we can continue to crush them on this frog for a little while. I don't think I'm making enough noise. Come on. Got to do it sometimes need to get back into the thick stuff. Oh, Hyacinth. Oh my God, dang it. That was a good fish. They took it all the way under. Oh my god, did you guys see that? I set the hook on that fish and he jumped out of the water. Oh god, what is going on today? I've never seen that happen before. Set the hook. I must have set it just a second too late and hit him. <laughs> that was actually really funny. Fish was pretty small. But I told you, man, you had to get out here early. The bite has gone down to next to nothing. But see if we can start flipping <laughs> that was that was pretty funny oh. okay it's hitting me hard it is it's now what do we got what do we got 839 it was on fire for the first like 30 minutes and then it just went it's all good I, I I'm gonna try going back to the same area I don't know what the water temp is because I'm my name's Robert and I forgot all my graphs so I'm hoping that the water temp's not absurd over there. This is a this is a hot water lake. The water is literally 100 degrees in certain areas. So I'm hoping that the area I was in this morning is kind of cooler water since they were so stacked there. So I'm gonna go back in, and I know they're gonna be up in the pads. If right now, this time of the day, summertime, they're gonna push back up in the pads. There's no grass. I mean, there's no grass. There's no clouds. No clouds whatsoever. So I don't think they're gonna be out roaming. So we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna go in here and punch. I've been punching. I've, it just hasn't worked out. All right, I have an idea. Uh. Oh, I need to fix that. I'm 4,000% sure I know what I did wrong. And I wish I can go back and rewind and redo it all over again. What better way to go over my day? And, and so, so in the military, when you do like some training stuff, they call it like after action report or whatever the AR, like you go and you think about, oh man, what did I do that was messed up and all that kind of dumb stuff. I am freaking 1,422, 248%. 
That number didn't make any sense when I started it. But I'm pretty freaking positive I know what I could have done exactly to the T to make this a freaking amazing day. Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mad at myself I didn't see it right then at the beginning. You guys remember when I came up? I literally came off plane, killed the engine, didn't put the trolling motor down, stood up, threw a frog. Missed, and then the second cast caught that bigger fish. And then once I put the trolling motor down, I'm pretty positive it pretty much just went to, uh, I wish I would have seen it then instead of just getting like too overly excited, just like, just like spazzed out, kind of like something, ah, gosh dang it. They didn't know I was there. They had no idea I was even there. I should have just stayed there and just threw a frog for the next 30 minutes. Cause then I started moving around and they weren't anywhere else. They weren't back in the shallow. I flipped a couple times, missed a couple, and yeah, uh, man, lesson learned. You know, you know what else that actually made me want to go do? Talk to Rackley. I'll meet up with him tomorrow. I think we might be going to a lake that's chock full of certain kind of grass, not the same kind I was fishing today. Completely different lake on another side of the state. I mean, this lake I went to today took me two and a half hours to get there and like three some change to get back. And the only thing I can think of during that entire ride back was, what did I do wrong? And like five minutes before I got to the house, I was like, Oh my God, I knew it. I mean, it was a great day. I caught a big fish, you know, for summertime, but it was just, I think, I feel like I could have done something a lot better. It made it like an amazing day and it was all my fault. So there you go. We both know what I did and it wasn't the right thing. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to, I'm going to clean my gun. I'm going to sit here and just chill. I'm going to clean this gun. I haven't cleaned it yet. It needs to be cleaned and wait for Sarah and Avery to get home. But there we go. That, that's what I'm thinking. That that's what I think could have made this like amazing day. If I would have just, Assess, assess the situation a little bit better and then followed through. This room has a smell to it that we probably do not want to have in this room since it's full of carpet and we're not going to be living here for the rest of our life. And that is... If you guys want to, if you guys want to know what my room smells like right now, take one of these baits and shove it up your nose. Got them into three bags. I didn't realize I had this many freaking swim baits left, but we're good. I don't even remember what these are called. What are these called? I forget. Someone help me out. What is going on? So that is where we're going to end it. I don't know how that's going to look on film, but we're going to leave it because that was kind of odd. I don't know why I did it, but tomorrow we're going to be going down lake fishing. Creek fishing, dam fishing, kayak fishing, no idea. We will be fishing. Hopefully we can figure it out. We learned a lesson today. Don't overthink things and don't try to make a move when it's unnecessary. I was on fish, I messed up, my fault. Lesson learned for everybody, but you know what? No big deal. Click on the links below, check out the rod, the frog, the line. Everything will be linked down below just for you guys. I don't know why I keep spinning. I'm gonna stop doing that because I'm gonna make myself dizzy as I'm staring at this camera. But until then, I love every single one of you guys and I will see you tomorrow.